The first of two Sunday fixtures sees Liverpool take on Newcastle United, with only three points separating the two sides in the league table. After Liverpool crashed out of the Capital One Cup on Wednesday against Swansea and narrowly missed out on a win in the Merseyside derby last weekend, Brendan Rodgers will be hoping his men can bounce back. Yeah, the most important thing for us is to look to win the game. You know, in the league we've we've picked up in terms of our our focus and, and our game is, you know, and our clean sheets has been been excellent. So, uh, so for us, it's about winning the game. Uh, you can't always guarantee that it's going to be perfect. The Reds are waiting on the fitness of Glenn Johnson, whilst Pepe Reina is likely to return in goal in place of Brad Jones. Alan Pardew could be without top scorer Demba Barr after he suffered a shin injury in Newcastle's 2-1 win against West Brom. With Barr doubtful, Papi Cisse is likely to be restored to the starting lineup alongside Shola Amiobi. Queen's Park Rangers host Reading with both teams still looking for their first win of the season. It may only be November, but this already has the air of a relegation six-pointer. Brian McDermott's men are going to have to recover quickly after what seemed a certain win in the Capital One Cup against Arsenal earlier in the week. Despite Reading going 4-0 up before half-time, they succumbed to a 7-5 defeat after extra time in a 12-goal extravaganza. Reading provided another thrilling encounter last weekend with Hal robson Carnu's last gasp goal securing a point in a three-all draw with Fulham, a sign that it's more defence than attack which is halting that elusive win. Rangers will also feel aggrieved not to have come away with at least a point in their last league outing. They lost 1-0 to Arsenal at the Emirates despite a decent performance. Stephen and Bayer's red card in that match means he misses out on Sunday. In recent weeks we've gone up against teams that uh, have been in the, the top half of the the table and we've equipped ourselves really well without getting the points that we, we felt we deserved. So now we're going up against, we're getting a period of games and we're going up against teams in or around us and uh, yeah, they take on more significance because uh, we need to get maximum points. Owner Tony Fernandez insists Rangers boss Mark Hughes isn't under pressure, but the Welshman knows a first win of the season needs to come soon.